Welcome to this psychology lecture series. In this video, we are going to talk about single subject designs. Single subject designs have been closely tied to the experimental analysis of behavior, which is a school of thought in psychology founded by B. F. Skinner's philosophy, and it defines the basic principles used in applied behavior analysis. Single subject design is preferred. as these designs are sensitive to individual organism differences versus group designs which are sensitive to average of groups the logic behind single subject designs are prediction verification and replication the types of single subject design are the most basic single subject research design it's a reversal design also called the aba design it involves establishing a baseline condition that is the a phase next introducing a treatment or intervention to effect some sort of change that is the b phase and then removing the treatment to see if it returns to the baseline aba design allows researcher to evaluate how effective a treatment is if the behavior completely reverts to the baseline following the withdrawal of the treatment then the scientist can be pretty confident that the treatment works an extension of the model is abab design this involves measuring the baseline that is the a phase then introducing the treatment that is the b phase and withdrawing the treatment and reintroducing it one final time this is considered a confirmatory model that it not only tells us if an effect can be repeated but how robust the effect is the next model of this reversal design is the multiple treatments model alternating treatments design compares the effects of two or more independent variables on the dependent variable variations include a no treatment control condition and a final best treatment verification phase In a multiple baseline design, baselines are established for different dependent variables or different settings and the treatment is introduced at a different time on each baseline. If the introduction of the treatment is followed by a change in the dependent variable on each baseline, this provides strong evidence of a treatment effect. Changing criterion designs are used to evaluate the effects of an independent variable on the gradual improvement of a behavior that is already in the participants list i hope you like this video please share these videos with everyone who are preparing for this exam and do forget to subscribe thank you